Hi there, Robin here from RTS, Robin Sessing Studio, aka Expert Island, and we are talking about the XVibe U3 today, a very, very versatile wireless system. So if you're looking for somebody else's opinion on it, maybe mine, which would be okay, this is going to be a great video to watch. This product is incredibly versatile. It's got a magic switch on it, and that's what I like to call it. They were smart enough to make a switch on it for mic versus line. That is the magic right there. That's the piece that makes this product so versatile. So when it comes to reliability, durability, longevity, those sort of things, we've had these now for a couple of years and we've played around with them an awful lot. The range, pretty much as advertised, they say 90 feet, which is great because so many companies would exaggerate that. Oh, 150 feet, whatever or not. But they don't, they stick at 90 feet because it really works 90 feet away. To get 90 feet away from the original setup of the unit, I had to get to the other end of the showroom, past two office doors, and then be standing outside, and it was still working. It wouldn't work from across the parking lot, so of course it didn't work 100 or 120 feet away, but it did work up to 90 feet. Amazingly enough, it did the job. And I have forgotten these units on, so I gotta say, once they're connected, they're constantly working. They're doing their job. They don't know if they're actually supposed to be or not, so they are on, they are connected, they will continue to transmit and receive a signal. So you are gonna get approximately five to six hours use out of it, and then you can charge them up in about 90 minutes. Which for most shows, if you're know if you gonna turn them on just before you use them, and you use them maybe for a little bit of rehearsal, having something for you know five hours is probably gonna do the job for you. So of course, as everybody likes to do, is turn it on. So let's have a look-see at what it looks like when you turn it on. There is a switch here, which turns this guy on, has six channels on it. And then we have a second switch on the actual transmitter, which then turns it on six channels. As long as these two are on the same number, they are connected. So don't be confused when you see 2.4 gigahertz thinking that it's somehow Bluetooth. Bluetooth operates in 2.4, but so does a whole bunch of new technology, including these guys right here. It's a cleaner, more secure space to actually put your products in based on the licensing and how all the arrangements are. So this way you can buy these things and don't be worried about, ooh, do I need to get a special permit? Because amazingly enough, there are products now, depending on how strong they are, how much range you get out of it, you need to get them licensed. That's why so many companies are finding real specific places to put their products when it comes to frequency to make everybody happy. And if we talk a bit about having an imagination, this unit here can be used for a microphone, of course, that's what it was intended for. You plug it into a mixer, your controller, maybe you have a keyboard or you have a drum machine, something that has a mic input on it and you wanna plug that in there and be able to use it wirelessly. But on the other side, you can do an awful lot when you spin them around. You can plug the receiver, not just into a mixer, but you could plug it directly into the back of a speaker. And then at that case, the actual unit that goes in the microphone has the ability to switch to line. This is where it really gets fun. This unit can now be plugged into a mixer to broadcast out to the speaker. It can be plugged into the controllers, again, going out to the speaker. It can be plugged into one mixer going to another mixer. So I can plug out of one mixer, maybe that's what your band has set up. And then the house system is located pretty far away and you can get to that wirelessly. That's another great option to go with. And I was saying, if somebody has a keyboard and they want, they've got their mic plugged into the keyboard, and they just need to get to their speaker and they don't want to have that extra wire to go an extra 20 feet and something else really to trip over because of course all they have in front of them is their keyboard. This is a great way to do it. Plug it into the speaker, plug it into the main output of your keyboard and you're all set. Now you could get two units and have a full stereo signal if you want. And of course you can have as many of these combined together either on the same channel or on different channels to do unique jobs. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna demonstrate on this microphone, I'm gonna switch it out. I'm going to plug this unit into the board and we're gonna plug this unit into the microphone so we can actually have a sound test. So here we are, it's now wireless. Five millisecond delay, but of course I'm not gonna hear it. It's only five feet away distance wise. If you talk milliseconds to feet, it's roughly five feet, me to the camera, that sort of thing. Outside of that, I'm not concerned about the audio quality. I know it's pretty clean, I know it's very straightforward, and it does the job exactly the way you want it to. This is really nice. If you're doing interviews and you need a wireless microphone to do it, there you go. If you're a singer and you wanna be able to move around, freedom, no problem. If you're a DJ and you need a microphone to this way for yourself and for your guests to be able to use, perfect way to get it done. Now you could always buy just a wireless microphone. By all means, you're more than welcome to do that, but a lot of times you have a very good microphone already, 
or you have a variety of microphones you want to use. The most important thing is to get that wireless connection. That's what's going to happen right here. And if you set it up properly with their other products, they won't interfere. You can have the actual in-ear monitor wireless system running on its own channels. You can have this running on its own channels. You can have multiple microphones running on their own channels, or you can group them up so they end up right back at the same receiver. Now, of course, we always make reference to mixers, controllers, keyboards. You can plug the actual receiver straight into the back of a speaker if you just need to have a PA system to take out for public address. Maybe you need to have it for safety meetings or for presentations. You can do that with this machine as well. Back to the actual corded microphone. So this way you can play back between the two sets and have a listen to it. And there we go. That's pretty much everything I know about the X-Vibe U3. So I hope this video helped you in your buying decision a little bit. Maybe I'll see you in the next video. I'd like to say thanks for watching. Bye for now.